Welcome back to everybody. It's coming back through of Star Ocean 6 the Divine Force on Universe Difficulty. We're on part number 48 and we're going to head on and complete the Scorpion Network. And I think push towards the end of the game, I would guess. This sort of area doesn't tend to be a place where you'd stick around for too long. Anybody? No? I'm looking for the rest of my team. Uh, it looks like there's nothing here. But we can go over there. Chest in there. Enemies up ahead. Live to fight another day. Uh, right, we had a chest. Sweet. Okay. So it's that way. This takes us to another area. I want to go behind us. Forbidden tonic. There's some stuff here. Not dead. Chest here. him there. Oh, it's a chest there. Sweet. Another emblem. Right, I think we're set for this area. So there were some enemies this way. Yep. Fused feather folk. Right. Head through here. This is a really confusing area. Okay, so we're back here. How to try a different way this time. Where do we come out on this one? Same place we came in. Didn't use too many resources, so we'll hang out left here. This may be the opinion we're not going to get through this one. Don't like to check. Yep. Right. New door. Before we go into the actual proper location just there. Yep. 
could grab that. Well, that's over with. Well, that's the exit. Surprise attack. Not vatting. Miraculous device. Preparation. Okay. Full power. Let's grab this. Good. Double check here, that's where we picked up something. Okay. We back where we started again? Yep, right. So with that Um let's use shop here. Let's grab that. All right, it's time to head now through this one. We've only got Albert, JJ and Elena. So. Elena's got some stuff. Nothing for that. Uh, give him phase. Let's just give him that. Our bed. Sure, Muria. Um, do that. Passives. I was a bit rainy day fund on. Okay, let's head in. Okay, here's my other people. Brass Phantom, hey? Nameless Victor. A lot of foal. That's a door we can break down. Got a dude here. Nina. Or not. Sweet. A weapon. A chance that'd be from Nina. Sweet. 
Fire's paper. That's nothing. That's where I want it to go. Midas. You had me searching. All right. With that, let's change party. JJ can come out. Midas can go in. Lots of SP here. Way. We have opponents. I see them as well. Rep for engagement. Firing. The power and fear. Wow, that's just like decimation. Valhalla Hero's Armor. JJ Midas. That's good for Midas. Fifteen, a six percent chance to survive for one HP. Okay. And. Okay, this place is confusing as. Let's get her in. A bit of Elena. Good. I tire of waiting. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd never see you again. Right, you're in now instead of prepared. And you should have a new weapon. It's so tough being popular. And round the corner, yep. Yeah. Don't really wanna, you know, could leave her behind, but why do we all seem to have found each other again? You're in, I haven't found Letitia. Oh well. Tagging in. Alright, um I think we're good. If we go onto here, we should teleport, right? No? Okay. Something's got to have opened up somewhere. Yes, I'm going to drop a save as well. I haven't done that in a while. Aha. It's just like a loading screen. A child born to us late. My aides seem to have taken quite the liking to her. Perhaps more than I. Surely it is fate. 
At six years junior to my son, they will be the same age apart as Tatiana and myself. Would you see them brought together for both our nations? She is still yet but a babe. What kind of father offers his daughter's hand so soon after birth? We are not only fathers, but rulers. We must strive to ensure the peace we now enjoy will last. My offer stands. Please, do think on it. If this is all deep inside his consciousness, maybe it's some kind of memory or something. Are we back where we started again? I'll try a different way this time. Okay. Brilliant, Paul. Just special. Okay. Hopefully, with it all being a bit clean, we should be able to just zip through all of this. care about Letitia to be honest. Scorpio. Precisely, your majesty. On our homeworld, many use this power to overcome their sickness and ailments. Soon we may overcome the frailty of age itself. Yet still, you were forced to flee here from your land. Yes. Only by those who seek to use Scorpia might for their wicked schemes. Consider, if you would, that there are countless worlds beyond this one with the same power we command. Should the peoples of these worlds move on your own, the Vale Empire will be helpless to hold them at bay. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Top here. There we go. Honestly, like an absolute maze. Gaston? So this is what they call the Did I hit him? I think I did. Nina. I do need to get some better equipment with Nina. Might as well get the cage up. Team is silenced. See him. Hang in there. Hang in there. 
the blindsided bitch. Okay, so is that done? Yeah, I've got the other one which we probably couldn't open then. Uh, gonna go to the shop. Pick up some stuff. Um, yeah, let's get this fresh sage. Uh, good drop a save pool just to be on the surf side. I can't because I'm in an animation. What I should actually do is we've got SP to burn. Burn some of this. Uh confusion. Not like the sound of confusion. Nina. Quite a bit. Well, I think that is all of her abilities that she has got. So let's strengthen here. Let's boost up that tingling chimes. And then I wouldn't mind getting which one is it? Yes, reverberate once we can. Okay. Uh Midas. Get your guts here, just to have that done. Again, not really needing too much of this. You never know what could happen. But it's just after this. It's starting to strengthen up some of the skills that we want, to be honest. Uh, we can do this. Lovely. Who's got one more to go? And then Marielle. I'm gonna grab the stat increases first. Fusion. Extended dodge. Right, that's all of that stuff. What I wouldn't mind doing is energy burst is amazing. Um, have I got any of your passes on? You'll do. First aid. Things are finally starting to click. Good. All right, not worried about the others. Uh, should drop another save here. Would you have grown angry with me? 
for even offering such strangers my consideration? Or would you find their tales intriguing and urge me on? Oh, Tatiana, why did you have to leave me? Oh, I miss you so. Alright, getting a backstory of him. Nice. Yeeted off a Absolute Shrek him. Off he goes. Like literally the whole world has just been on Confused. He's nearly dead. This one's not so bad as the others. There's the scorpion ship done. Lots of experience, lots of foal. Alright. I want the shop here. Get back the stuff we've just used. Uh, what have we used? Two sages. Okay. Back here again. Again, or did we go? No, we did south before, didn't we? So let's drop a save. We are like to find Voldor himself ahead. Make sure we are quite ready, Ray. Don't worry, we got this. Time to finish this fight for good. Sounds like the end to me. I was certain. You would come. Bulldor. Bulldor. You've lost yourself in your twisted dreams of what the Scorpion might offer you. Take a good hard look at yourself now. Do you still see one of the humanoids you wanted to save? Humanoid? Of course not. The power the Scorpion possess is divine. In joining them, I am now closer to a god than mortal. 
Our kind and the Scorpium are but life by different forms. None of us living can claim ourselves gods. And there is no need for any of you to be. My only desire is for you to join us and live your lives in a whole new world. One free of sickness and conflict. As Emperor of Vale, it is my duty to lead my people to peace. And in becoming the Scorpion's God, I can finally fulfill my duty. Your current existence is no different from an android like myself. Constructed by humans, given life through technology, we will never be gods. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Are the gods of history not but man-made creations? Then surely you would agree that the most godlike among us now is either you or myself. You're a paltry excuse for one. Man cloaks himself in knowledge and power taken from others and mistakes himself an idol. You are just one of many who litter the pages of our history. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And even with all the technological advancements we've seen, your story is quite common. History itself will determine my divine status. Once the whole universe is one with the Scorpion, we shall be omnipotent. We shall become God. Well, it'll be impossible for you to become one, since we're here to make sure that never happens. The universe needs not such a deity. If there is anything divine in this world, it is but the flame of life inside of all of us. Mortal life has always feared the unknown. A fear of the divine is only natural. Yet fear you will not find in us, nor a thought spared for the desecration you speak of. No god saved me. My salvation is owed to the Scorpio, who gave me this form. They are nestled beside my own soul in this mortal shell. Try as you may. You can never replace them. We're not going to get anywhere arguing about this. Are we, Boltor? At last, a sentiment I find agreement with. As mortals, we stand more powerful than the god you claim to be. Princess Leticia, it is precisely that fiery spirit of yours which Scorpion so desperately needs. Join me, my new daughter. Detecting incoming attack. Okay, here we go. Time has come for you to learn your place. Behold, the infinite power of a god. Wow. The Scorpion Way will receive the evolution of all life through integration. Alright. Why then do you inhibit us so? Wow, okay. Right, let's do a bit of this. Someone else will pick me up here. Bloody fire and ice going on. Put the astral cage on here. Hidden skewed. Let's a battle in that. the digital realm essentially equates to the use of data traffic to overwhelm your opponent. For organic life forms like yourself, it may be best to think of this as what you call real power or resolve. Mine against the power.
Can't be the final boss, surely. It was really easy. Preposterous! What could you lowly mortals ever hope to do? With my power as a god, I could bring endless bliss to all life in this world! To all life in the universe! With such power, I will not... must not be beat! You are Baldor Il Vale. Man, not God! I am. How could one possibly know happiness in a world without sorrow to temper it? A world forged from single-minded devotion is ultimately the same as one empty of all. No, stop that. Stare not at me with those eyes, mortal. Baldor. I will not be eradicated. I cannot be. I alone am destined to be your new god and leader. Behind me, now. Enough! No more of this! I will not be defeated here! I refuse! What's going on? Voldor's will endures and refuses to be erased. Should he continue to resist in this way, his virtual realm will be obliterated with all in it. Voldor! Cease this at once! The battle is over! Words are useless. I will do what is needed. Please, no! My universe just needs me! Here we part. What? No! I am unable to maintain your consciousness in this space any longer. With what power I have left, I will see you return safely. But what's going to happen to you? You possess the potential to both understand the Scorpion and guide them to an enlightened future. Through you, may the seeds of all evolutionary paths for life be sown. I place my faith in you. Understood. Rest assured. Ray. At your side, I found faith in the future coexistence between Scorpion and organic life. I thank you. Duma, no! My investigation is at its end. That is his wife. Is it all over now? I am inclined to believe it only just begins. I would agree. Thank you, Duma. The last landing spot. to be a protector then yes as i mentioned before aster four's prolonged contact with more advanced civilizations categorized it as a protectorate of the pangalactic federation are we to be subjected to surveillance by an ambassador no nothing quite as direct as that Aster will remain under observation to prevent any unnecessary interaction with advanced civilizations until it reaches a certain threshold. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty imperious, aren't you? Was that not where the Federation's faults originally lie? Guess some things are hard to change. 
And though it might not exactly be compensation, all of you, who have been subject to intense intervention, now have the option to travel to any Federation system to live or study. Studying on a different planet? I must say, I don't hate the thought. Right? Agreed. But I must refuse. I vowed to attend to tasks on this planet using mine own strength. I've had less than enough as to the consequences of progression that was acquired through the power of others. That's true. If I studied medical science at such an advanced level, I'm pretty sure I could save lives all across the universe. But first and foremost, I want to treat the suffering people of this world with my own hands and using our own techniques. Our journey into the stars must be one born of our own volition. Only then will we find ourselves on equal ground with you and yours. I see. You know, you're probably right. Does the underdeveloped planet preservation pact restrict us from assembling together like this? Is this the last time we'll ever see one another? Well, I can't speak for Marielle, but Elena and I aren't bound by Federation laws. We can come and go whenever we want. Veer will play a critical role in the Federation's investigation of the Scorpium, for sure. Which means, there will be times when we will need to contact Colonel Valange and Lieutenant Lola here on Aster. Which should mean that I can see all of you again, so long as I avoid contact with anyone else. That is news I am relieved to hear. Gathering together is the best way for me to share in the experiences of my non-Scorpion companions. Yeah, I mean, if it were up to me, I'd set up a branch of Lawrence Logistics right here in Osarius, and that would let us see as much or as little of each other as we could ever want. Now is a time for restraint. Surely, the events here have opened your eyes to the importance of the Federation's underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Yeah, 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 I get it. But come on, you gotta at least see how hard that is on a personal level. Don't be so uptight. I say this with respect to the positions of both Elena and Marielle. But, from my own view, I fail to find fault in Raymond's suggestion. Wow, Alby. Can't say I expected that coming from you. Spare me. I simply speak for us all. I wonder if my ancestors also felt the same way long ago. Nice. So there we have it, ladies and gents. Starish and Six, the Divine Force. Why not? We have a tendency to be fine, after all. <laughs> You know, you're a lot more carefree now than you were before. For that, I know who to thank. Oh my, who could that be? Did we have someone irresponsible like that around? Oh yes. At hand, I might say. Oh yeah? <laughs> well... <laughs> we both got jobs to do, right? <laughs> more than I care for, indeed. <sighs> if only some god would show up and free us all from the burdens of work life so we could just kick back and have fun. <laughs> Says the man bound to place his burdens on the shoulders of poor Chloe and Elena. Hey, I've become crazy capable after all this. I'm sure they feel like they can just relax and enjoy the ride. You are free to believe whatever you want. Ray? Okay, let's leave it at that. Ray, this is the Aldis. We're now in geostationary orbit. Copy that. Yep, best get going before this turns into another pick on Ray fest. It does seem about time. This is Raymond for the Aldis. Commence transfer.
583. An unprecedented crisis for the Pangalactic Federation was resolved with the cooperation of the planets Ergold and Aster IV. However, the corruption which plagued the highest levels of Federation leadership continues to leave its mark on the organization. Amidst growing calls from Federation captains, my grandfather, Emerson T. Kenny, was assigned as interim commander of the Federation fleet. A retired military man, he refused at first, but after much pushback, he took the reins to lead the Federation from its worst crisis yet. Through these troubled events, I've come to question the Federation's purpose in this galaxy, as well as my own function as one of its officers. But I choose to believe that its cause is still just. We must ensure a future of peace. Pangalactic Federation Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny. The events that unfolded spanned numerous star systems. Though their sovereign was defeated, remnants of the centralist Scorpium and their invasive measures still remained. Those among the Pangalactic Federation who aligned with the Scorpium cause were on the run, but still retained their influence. To combat both these foes, my partner Elena, armed with data saved from Duma's survey, helped us hit the Scorpium network from their own colony. Duma's experiences and noble ideology had a profound impact on the network, and saw the remaining centralists quickly weakened. And while everything might still be far from wrapped up, it shouldn't be too long now until the Scorpium find themselves on the right track. My hope now is that the Pangalactic Federation might find its way too. Captain of the Lawrence logistics ship, the Aldous, Raymond Lawrence. There we have it. Wow! That's a good game. That is a good game. I put about 35 hours, which is not bad. Um, obviously, side quests I haven't done and whatnot. Um, depends on that sort of stuff post game. Anyway, I believe there are some post game dungeons that we will check out eventually. Um, probably not right away for me, anyway, depending on when this goes up. Um, they might sequent into that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good. Enjoyed it. The battle system was really, really good. Story was actually quite good. Quite enjoyed that. The only sort of negatives I'd find for this is they reuse a lot of the same bosses. So you had, yeah, Remington, Balor, whatever his name is, Gaston and his mate. Um fought them two or three times obviously fought the bird twice um so we use them assets um and also the fact that we didn't really go to the stars we went to two planets really three out of push um but we only really explored one um which for a game with star in the title was a bit weird so again the previous entry that i played was for the last hope and uh Plenty of planets in that one. So yeah, that was a bit of a, a weird one for me, but overall, cracking, cracking game. You know, if, if you see it on sale, go and pick it up. Support the devs on this one. I think Trias have been in a few difficulties over um, the pandemic sort of timeline. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth your while in doing it. But uh, let's just see if there's any post credit scenes we wrap up the series yeah sorry for the hold up Raymond you're late and it ain't fashionable the big shots have all been seated for at least an hour now you're meeting with the Federation emissary take this a little more seriously it's not like any of this is on the books anyway right got news for you the planet Ori is not gonna join the Federation I'm guessing this is all just so they can tell Vergold to back off without rocking the boat. 
Which means there's no point in taking all this stuff they set up that seriously. So I figured I'd keep them waiting in anticipation. You ass. You're really using that as an excuse for running late? Yeah, too much, Dad. Be honest. Doesn't matter either way. You were always gonna get put before the firing squad in these negotiations from the get-go. Don't worry about it. Me and your brother will do whatever we can on our end to make you look good. So, if you say showing up late was part of the plan, then part of the plan it is. Sound good? Sounds good. The Federation's too big to just change overnight, even after, you know, all that happened out there. But I'd say this has made it plain and clear that they ain't in charge of the universe. I mean, they don't get to call all the shots out here anymore. And this here is just one of the ways we're going to teach them that lesson. Say as much from the start, then. You stress me out way too much. <laughs> Sorry, man. Today, the Lawrence family is about to save another planet from the dirty hands of the feds. Alright, a new game plus, maybe? Universal Master, save your game. If we were to load this... Where are we? So we're back here. I'm just going to check a few things while we're doing. It's going to be a, a bumper episode anyway. So if we come to this. Something here. Okay. But even if I can't help. Um the undelivered. Scorpion chips to that. Yeah, quite a few of these we haven't got. Um So I think, yeah, um, let's go here, I believe this is where uh, one of the post game dungeons is. And what's this? Just gonna have a look to see if I can find the post game dungeon. Something there. Take a quick peek. Hmm. My word. Had 
there always been a passageway here? I'm not sure, but I'm picking up semiomantic traces. This path might have been sealed off before. It would appear to lead further below. Not once have I heard mention of a pathway such as this among the Trappen. Road to the unknown, huh? Oh, <laughs> sounds like my kind of adventure. I had a feeling you might say that. I am picking up unknown hostile readings below. Do try and be careful. Ain't gotta remind me. Let's have some fun, Leticia. Right with you, Ray. Okay. So, yeah, I might have a quick peek of that then. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be the end of the main story. We've got post-game stuff. Um, potentially coming our way soon. So, thank you very much, everyone. And I will see you all in the next one.